I am Dr. Shailaja, who is consultant obstetrician and gynecologist in Sri Krishna Clinic, situated in J.P. Nagar, Eighth Phase. The blood-borne STDs like HIV and HBSAG are transmitted through blood or any body secretions. So the nipple sucking cannot transmit these blood-borne STDs, HIV and HBSAG. Unless the female is lactating, that is, she is breastfeeding. So these viruses can cross, can transmit through the breast milk and infect, infect the newborn babies, but not the adults. The chances of getting these infections through the breast milk or even when the nipples are bleeding through the blood, through the oral cavity, it is very, very negligible risk unless they have some oral source. Coming to herpes, so the chances of acquiring herpes through the nipple sucking is very rare because the herpes getting reactivated in the nipple itself is rare. Also, many people will have herpes in the oral cavity though they are not aware of it. So, transmission of the STDs through nipple sucking, you can just forget about it. It is almost we can say negligible.